Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment, you can share, you can subscribe, you can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Tarot. So, I am going to slap it down the holy water. Mm -hmm. I'm looking good, smelling good. Now I'm feeling that beautiful Aries energy today. Mm, yeah. So, you know what time it is. Tarot's now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. O. presiding. You can all put down your fur babies. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy could be approaching you. It could be your own energy for all I know. Whatever the case is, we will get it, we will hit it, and we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Show me the energy of the person, my beauty. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Boy, this deck's a little shaky today. What's going on here? Show me that energy of this person. Come on. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Come on. Okay. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Oh my goodness. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Boy, that's making me shuffle today. What is going on here? Better get out my truffle sniffing hog here. <laughs> my dad taught me to make pig noises when I was a little girl. <clears throat> it was his favorite noise to make. Okay. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I don't know what that was. Take it to top to bottom. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Wait for Becky here. Okay. Okay. All right, we've got the death, the world, the high priestess, the four of pentacles. The person's carrying a heavy load here, Pisces. They're not wanting to let something go. And obviously, you know, they're, there's something that's being hidden here, okay? Something that's being hidden here. We've got the world card. This is all about cycles, starting, stopping, completing here, all right? Could be a card of traveling the world here. Soaring like an eagle, feeling majestic like a lion, feeling, um, you know, feeling gentle and soft, too. There's a rebirth here in your person's energy. Okay. There's been death here. We're going to talk to death first. So, <clears throat> what's going on with death in this person's energy, please? Show me death in this person's energy. What's going on with death, please? Show me death here in this person's energy. What's going on with this rebirth, this death? Come on. Let's shake it down. Let's shake it down. Let's show what's going on here. Okay. What's going on here with death to the magician? It's Mercury energy. Yeah. This is like an energy of, you know what, no longer manipulating things. Because manipulating here, somebody here has manipulated, been manipulating a situation here, okay? And them realizing that they've been manipulating situations has cost them their happiness. So this is the end 
this is the end of the era for this person of being a manipulator. Okay? It's like smoke in the mirror. Did you guys hear that song, my friend Ruby Lee, that was on The Voice? Yeah, that won't... She was the second runner-up to Huntley. Um, yeah, she wrote this song called Smoke in the Mirror. So it's like somebody's been putting smoke in the mirror here, okay? And then once the air had cleared here, they actually seen themselves for who they really are, okay? No more smoke in the mirror. Wow. Okay. I like that energy. So <clears throat> what is this person not wanting to let go of? What is this person not wanting to let go of? What are they holding on to here? What are they holding on to here? What are they holding on to? What are they holding on to here? Okay. It's temperance. That's a tough energy here too. Because, mm, okay. In this card here, in temperance card, okay, this is the figure in this card. It's not a, just an angel, okay? I mean, it is an angel, but it's uh, uh, called androgen, okay? It's, and what androgen is, uh, androgen has both a feminine and masculine characteristics here, okay? So, and this is all about, you know, manifesting beauty into the world here as well. As well as connecting with Christ, okay? It's about integration here. Two aspects bringing things that we have not resolved to purify them, you know, for this person's higher self here. Okay, so this, this is a challenging process. But it enables you to temper out things and find balance to find your middle way. So, <clears throat> this person could be literally having a hard time. I'm going to say it. Uh, mm, <clears throat> I feel very strongly here that this person doesn't want to fully open up here and share both their feminine and their masculine characteristics here. They don't want to show. Why is this person not wanting to show both their masculine and feminine traits here? Why is this person not wanting to show both their masculine and feminine traits here? Yep, that's just what I said. They want to keep that hidden. So, I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe your person um, is uh, in the closet. Okay? I'm just saying. Okay? And maybe they don't want to come out yet. So maybe they feel like maybe they're a man, but they feel like they are a woman. Okay? And it's like they don't want to, to let that out yet. Because it's painful. It's not easy to let that out. But your person's kind of picking up. Yeah, it, it's kind of, and I, it, that's just one, one thing that could be. It could be this person just not wanting to, if they're a man, they don't want to show their feminine side. If they're a woman, they don't want to share their masculine side because people would judge them, okay? So they like to keep that suppressed. So your person's still in the closet about their masculine and feminine traits here. For whatever reason, I don't know. But like I said, with the temperance though, it's about manifesting you know, their beauty into the world. We have the world card down here on the table. All right? So it's... Oh, boy, Pisces. <clears throat> it's like... Uh, it, it, it's something that's been a part of their life structure here. So structure here, because I'm tying this temperance over to the world. The world is uh, ruled by, you know, Saturn, which is structure. Okay, so it's like they want to keep very, very tidy here. Oh, it's a tight energy. So what's what are they hiding with the high priestess? What are they hiding with the high priestess, please? What are they hiding with the high priestess energy? What are they hiding behind these pillars? Show me what's behind the pillars here. 
Show me what's behind the pillars here. Show me what's behind the pillars. Sure. They're very much determined to... They're hiding their feminine traits. Their feminine energy. So it's like they don't want their feminine energy to surface up. But it is very much there. And I can see that this person's a very fiery energy, a very passionate energy here. Very intuitive as well. Very intuitive. Very intuitive. Very, very intuitive. Wow. Okay. So what's going on with the world card? I never know what I'm going to get down here on the table. What's going on with the world card here? Well, what's separating themselves? What are they separating themselves here with the world? <coughs> what are they separating themselves here with the world and the hermit? Sure. So, right now, I feel like this person is um, getting touch with their inner child here. I do. Their feminine inner child. And how does this person feel about their feminine inner child? I never know what I'm going to get. This could be your energy. How does this person feel about their feminine inner child? How does this person feel about their feminine inner child, please? How does this person feel about their feminine inner child? How does this person feel about their feminine inner child? They don't like it. They don't like it. They've realized that they don't like who they are as a person right now because they're very much in their masculine energy. I, I'm not joking you. I am not joking. This is a pretty powerful reading. I don't think I've ever had an energy on my table like this. No. Somebody does not like their masculine energy that they portray into the world here. They're trying to nurture. They're figuring something out here. that Something within their childhood that has suppressed their feminine energy here. That they've definitely held that back. Wow. Wow. That's, this is a... Guys, I'm here on my table. So this is where this... This magician energy here comes into play, okay? And magician, okay, is, is represented here by the snake energy here, which is transformation, which has something to do with your uh, sensuality here, okay? My goodness. And it's something here that it's like they're needing to communicate with themselves and their divine masculine wow my god my mind is blown back here holy wow wow that this is powerful stuff right here wow i hope this person finds their light soon i hope they find their star because they literally are the hermit holding the star beautiful energy beautiful reading so I'm going to leave it here. Tarot's adjourned.